monkey coming at you from the day after Christmas. Um, I'm making this the day before Christmas, so on Christmas Eve, so this might not be exactly true. The reason why I'm making this is because right now I'm at work. <laughs> um, so I'm working uh, for Boxing Day, so I don't know how free I'll be or how tired I'll be after work, so I figure I'll just make a video now, edit it, and then have it up. So, going along with the theme that I've been doing um, recently of Christmas stuff, <laughs> um, I want to talk about, um, I guess, my best holiday experience I've had so far. I don't know what this year so far, but uh, my best holiday experience, and that was last year. Um, last year, I don't know what about it, but I loved it. Like. I had my typical families open up presents, unwrap them, um, have dinner, like we're all on our pajamas and stuff like that. It's 2 p.m. and we're eating said dinner. And that's the general normal how our Christmases are. And then I believe it was on Boxing Day, I went to um, Matthew's, which is my old boyfriend, um, who I was dating at the time. And on Boxing Day, I went to his house, and I had, I guess, Christmas dinner again with his family. And when I was there with his family, it felt really weird because it felt like I was part of something. And like normally with my family, it's the same tradition, the same thing that we do every year, and there's no change to it. But when I was with his family, they, I don't know about, like, what, what it was, but literally I, I felt like I was part of something, to say weirdly enough. But yeah, when I was with his family, I felt like I was part of this whole tradition and stuff like that. Like, um, I didn't mention this last year, I, I don't think I mentioned this last year, but, uh, last year I was on a Skype call with Matthew. Um, on Christmas Eve, and I was doing my normal thing that I always do, which for you, many of you guys who don't know, I do Santa Track. Um, it's just a Facebook page. <laughs> I can I'll send the link down in the doobly doo for it, but it's just something I do every year, and I've been doing it for the past three years. I don't know. I get lots of emails about it, and I get like kids saying, "Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come," and stuff like that. So I always keep it up. As much as it's really hard for me to keep it up and be updating every five seconds, pretty much, I do my best, and people really enjoy it, so I, I keep doing it. Um, but yeah, so last year, on Christmas Eve, I was sitting there on Skype, on video and everything, with Matthew, um, and his dad walked in, and with his two brothers. And so he was like, well, this is a tradition that's been passed down to me, and it's been in my family for a bit, and I want to pass it on to my children, and so on. And so I was part of a tradition that I guess had been happening for years that I knew never knew about or anything. I was part of this tradition where pretty much he had read the night before Christmas, or twas the night before Christmas, it's called. And I was sitting there on the Skype call um, while I could see everything was happening and it was just Matthew's dad, Matthew and his two brothers sitting there while I was listening to Twas the Night Before Christmas and I was sitting there 
almost in tears because I'd never been part of that tradition. And I felt like I was really part of something. And I, I was like, oh my god, I love this. And I kind of just want to sit here tonight, being Christmas Eve, reading The Night Before Christmas to myself. Because I felt like I was part of something when that happened. And I don't know what it was about his family, but he made me feel like I was part of it. And it was really nice. But yeah, when I, I was with his family on Boxing Day, and it was just like, they were really nice to me, and like, they gave me gifts, and they didn't need to give me gifts, and I felt, like, bad for not me giving them gifts and stuff like that. But they were sweet, and they were just like, they just acted like I was just one of the family, and it was probably the best Christmas I've ever had. Um, and like, I just, I don't know, I felt like I was part of something. And so I kind of went home with my bag of stuff going, wow, I feel like this has been the best. And yeah, <laughs> that's been my best Christmas I've had so far. And it's, I guess, because of the lack of consistency, it was different. Um, and I felt like I was part of a tradition that happens. And because I feel like reading The Night Before Christmas, even though it's not The Night Before Christmas anymore, because it's Boxing Day, I'm going to read it to you guys. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirred, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by chimney with care, and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plugs danced in their heads. And Mama in her handkerchief, and me in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a chatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new-fallen snow gave a lure of midday to objects below. When and what to my wandering eye should appear, but a miniature sled and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than an eagle, his courser then came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane win, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the top housetop the coursers they flew, with the sled full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I draw in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from head to foot, and his clothing were all tarnished with ash and soot. A bundle of toy he had flung on his back, and looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose was like cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard of a chin as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held to his teeth, the smoke encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed as I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside on his nose, giving a nod, and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to the sled, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like down on the thistle. I heard him exclaim her, his drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And so I wish you all a good night on this Boxing Day. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.